Hello and welcome to City Trekker. My name's Adam and I'll be your guide as we aim to find the right gear for the right task for you. Today we're gonna to take a look at the GWA Gen 3 Mark II in Dyneema composite fabric. Let's check it out. This video is sponsored by Western Rise, and I've been a fan of theirs for over two years now, and I'm thrilled to have them as a sponsor. I'm wearing all Western Rise right now. I've got the Limitless Merino button-down shirt, the X Cotton tee underneath that, and the Evolution Pant 2.0, and the Versa hat. The Limitless Merino button-down shirt is incredible. I've got this in concrete, and I also have the light blue. Last week at work, I pretty much wore this outfit every single day, uh, shifting back and forth between the concrete color shirt and the light blue color shirt. It's 53% Australian Merino and 47% polyester. It's moisture wicking, odor resistant, wrinkle resistant, and temperature regulating. I took this shirt on a 10 day trip to Nepal last month and it did awesome. I couldn't believe how odor resistant it was and I wore it for all of my formal meetings. So this is my new favorite formal shirt and I'm wearing it all the time. I highly recommend this shirt and I can get you 15% off using my promo code CityTrekker or the link down below. So a huge thank you to Wes Western Rise for sending this shirt and for sponsoring this video. GWA is a small company founded in 2017 by CB based in Southern California. Producing bags, patches, and more, their most popular product is the Citadel backpack. The Citadel was seven years in the making before its release and has had two significant updates from user feedback over the years. And this is the Citadel backpack in a Dyneema composite fabric. The Dyneema keeps it very durable but makes it a lighter pack. The Citadel is one of the more popular backpacks in the bag community, and after using this for a few weeks, I understand why. This pack features Dyneema composite fabric, uh, YKK zippers, and mil-spec hardware. There's a lot going on with this bag, so let's get started with the outside. On the front of the bag, we've got this five ounce Dyneema composite fabric, number eight YKK zippers with paracord pull ties, access to the small pocket, access to the larger pocket, a long strip of Velcro loop, and this Tweave Dura Stretch material, which has some good give to it. On the bottom, you've got the Dyneema composite. The sides are pretty much the same. You've got this Tweave Dura Flex for the water bottle pocket with some strap management, Dyneema composite material, and here we've got zippers to the main compartment and to the laptop compartment, and a thin side handle. Very similar on this side, you also have a side handle here and then a little bit of branding. The top has access to the main compartment and the laptop compartment, and a padded top handle. On the back, we've got a really great harness system here. The shoulder straps have some good padding and the Tweave Dura stretch is on the back to make it more comfortable. There are web loops all down the front of the strap as well as a D-ring. We've got mil-spec Acetol hardware on this and at the bottom some strap management. The sternum strap is adjustable and has some strap management as well. The padding on this is really comfortable and it's raised a bit which leaves a little bit of an airflow channel in the back. So let me put this on for you. Now there's no load lifters on this, uh, but being a 24 liter pack, I'm not sure it really needs it. And it does sit pretty comfortably on my shoulders. I am six foot three, 180 pounds. I've been using this for my daily EDC and it is just a really comfortable pack. All right, so let's get into the bag. And before we do, I'd love for you to triple click for me. Click the like button, subscribe button, and ring that bell to check out all our future reviews. Thanks. There are four compartments, two front compartments, the main compartment and the laptop compartment. The front top pocket is uh, small. It goes all the way down to here. This top compartment has two large pockets and two small pockets. And the inside here is just the inside of that Dyneema composite. The bottom pocket is nice and spacious and it has this Tweave Duraflex. Uh, so there's some give to this material. And we've got three pockets on the inside. At the back, we've got our laptop compartments. So there is a laptop sleeve and it is not suspended, but it is padded at the bottom. And then in front of the laptop sleeve, we have more space. Now, if you wanna access the main compartment full clamshell, you will need to undo the side buckles for the compression straps. Yes, this is luminous. This color is kind of like a yellow lime green. Now on the back, we have two loops here at the top, and then we have Velcro loop down both sides. This really gives you the option to have some modular components to the bag where you Velcro in pouches. On the front side of the bag, you have these two pockets, and the bottom one has a little bit more dimension to it. And that's all for the main compartment. So really simple, really straightforward. At the bottom, you have these tabs that you can grab onto when you're closing the zipper to the main compartment. 
So that's it, the GWA Dyneema Citadel. This is my first Citadel, and I can tell that this is a third generation because there have been so many tweaks made to this bag that really make it ideal. This bag just has so many great features. The Dyneema composite fabric, the great harness system, the YKK zippers, just the right amount of organization, a great top handle, and so much more. There's not much that I don't like about this bag. I think, I don't like this material for the side water bottle pockets. I feel like it's just kind of frumpy on the side a little bit. I would like for this to just kind of fold away. Something like the Alpha 19er uh, Pathfinder, where it just goes flush against the bag. Uh, when you're not using the water bottle pocket, something like that would be nice. And I kind of would like a top quick access pocket. Uh, they kind of address that by having this front quick access pocket, but there's not much dimension to this front pocket. So I'd love just something small right here at the top. So that's about it. If you can score one of these because they sell out pretty fast, uh, I would highly recommend this bag. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel to check out all our future reviews. Thanks so much and take care.